Welcome back to our brand new video, Moon Market Family. I got in this video a penny stock that could be considered one of the most undervalued penny stocks in the entire small cap penny stock market right now, based on revenue, based on financials, based on income, based on profit, based on everything that's going on with this company. We've got a lot of brand new updates to go over in this video for a stock that is catching on with Stock Twitch, Reddit, and a lot of people that watch my videos really like this stock as we've been covering it for a very long time. Sometimes I'm getting asked lately, Moon. Why didn't you upload a video? Why didn't you upload a video that day? Why didn't you upload a video yesterday? We need a new stock idea. In many cases, the reason I don't upload a video on a specific day is because I value quality over quantity. I don't want to just keep pushing out, pushing out a bunch of stocks to you guys. I want my current stock ideas to play out before just giving you a bunch of endless new stock ideas. Comment down below if you agree with that quality over quantity. Drop a like if you agree with that. You don't have to chase every single play that's up, you know, 100, 200%. You're not going to hit every single play. You're not going to be in on every single play. You're going to be able to scalp a lot of these different plays, but I like my bread and butter being my swing trade opportunities and i want my plays i want my bottomed out plays with catalyst right in front of us to play out whether the dd plays out like we expected or whether we just get stopped out and move on to the next play i want to do the i want the dd to play out for our three plays that we've been covering lately and they have been doing quite well with a lot of potential room to the upside in my personal opinion it's a great idea to trade news runners for example we just hit another 100 news runner in the private discord discord link is in the top pin comment if you want to get in on these you know 100 200 news runners ibio was posted by mom shout out to mom in the private discord getting that news out as quickly as possible that news was posted the moment it dropped in after hours at 4 48 p.m for ibio their big news you know it was a low flow and from that news it ended up running up 150 percent like i said if you can't trade in these yellow boxes or these blue boxes moo moo link in the top and comment to trade there these are the type of trades where you get in you get out quickly and in many cases you can take those gains that you get from these quick runners and invest them in long-term etfs like voo or spy i've been following ticker trka since 10 cents and have been updating everyone whenever they post news or a new filing and we just got one of the most important updates we've been waiting for throughout this journey you can see our first video on trk was at 10 cents over here today trka is sitting at 25 cents up 15 percent in after hour trading on friday just yesterday why did that happen if we check the trka sec filings we will see that after hours on friday they posted new two new form rw filings registration withdraw requests is what these form rw filings are called what is a form rw filing an sec rw filing is a formal request to withdraw a registration that has previously been filed with the sec the sec rw filing in particular is used by an issuer to request that a pending securities registration aka an offering to be removed from consideration consideration before any securities are sold. This means that TRKA is withdrawing two separate S1 filings that could have been used to dilute, but they withdrew them so they have no intention of diluting shareholders, giving us shareholders confidence going forward. I always talk about these stocks and how they can do well if they hold off on that dilution, and that's exactly what TRK is doing. They don't seem to want to dilute shareholders. They seem to may have the cash to continue business operations without screwing over shareholders. They could, you know, hit us with dilution at any point, even after withdrawing these. But right now it's looking really good and some of the best news that we got so far from this company and from since we've been covering this. Key points in these all in these uh, SEC filings are no securities will were sold or will be sold under this registration statement. They're not currently pursuing a public offering, aka dilution. And remember, I've been talking about the 50 million Series E shares. Those are off the table and will not be added to this share count. And another 200 million shares are off the table, including warrants. So a lot of dilution that was possible in the past is no longer possible now. This takes that big dilution worry away from people that were afraid to get in potentially because, you know, there was 
potentially some big dilution coming, and this 50 million Series E buyback is coming. We'll get further updates on these S1s as we go into the future here. According to the Moomoo Investing app, the short interest and short volume has increased drastically. You can see the short volume increased drastically. Short interest increased drastically over here on Moomoo. This means that a new wave of investors have placed a bet that something is going to go wrong and TRK could move lower because they're shorting the stock, betting on it to go lower. The fact that they withdrew these offerings makes their case a bit less likely that they're going to get that huge drop. Now, anything can happen, but it's making short case less likely for them to get that drop, which is obviously great for people that are invested in the stock and are long on the stock. Although anything can happen, rolling out dilution is a big deal. According to Ortex, the short interest is 50 51% and the cost to borrow is 174%. Maybe a lot of these shorts were betting on dilution that's no longer coming. Fintel is showing 29% short interest. So even if we low ball it and say the short interest is at 25%, that is still extremely high and unusually high for a stock at these very low levels, especially with the positive news that we've been getting lately. Remember, TRK is sitting at a 14.93 million market cap and a 31.93 million free float. This is a great post from In Calls of Pro on Twitter. What many didn't realize is that the registration statements have never became effective. However, short selling, selling strategists among hedge funds have speculated with a different outcome. With the result that the share price has behaved in recent months as if there were more than 200 million shares already in circulation, that's how it's been trading like it was a huge float, how will market makers react when they suddenly realize that synthetic shares are suddenly meeting bullish management? Remember, they recently merged with Converge, which brought in brand new management, and they're making big moves now that they're on the TRKA board of directors. The latest insider purchases were already indicative of what is now looming. To give you an example of a company that recently withdrew an offering was ticker RSLS. When they announced this news, the stock ran 300% from $6 to a high of $30. Now, I'm not saying TRK is going to run 300% out of nowhere. What I'm saying is a lot, this news is very bullish when you withdraw an offering, meaning no dilution. Dilution is probably the number one factor that can kill a stock price, especially in small caps. Looking at the Moo Moo app, we can see that their revenue drastically increased last quarter 1300% to 119, basically 120 million for the quarter alone, not the year, the quarter. There's four quarters in the year for anybody that didn't know. I'm sure you know that, but 1300% increase. Their operating income went positive, increasing by 323%, the most that they've had pretty much ever. The best part about their financials is their net income. Yes, it might be small, but it increased by 159%. And this means they just went profitable for the first time. They are a profitable company now. They project 450 million revenue for the full year 2023. And if you want all those features that I just showed you, revenue, profit, income, and 15 free stocks, use my link in the top and comment. You're going to get all those features. And if you sign up after you use my link in the top and comment and then deposit with my link, you get 15 free stocks. I had a member tell me he got a share of AZO, which is valued at $2,600 per share. Yes, that is very rare to get, but it's possible. There was also an 8K filing the day before these two form RWs were posted. All of these filings are putting the pieces of the puzzle together for that blue torch deal that I've been talking about for so long. Here's two points in the 8K that I found important. Blue torch freed up over 50 million in cash for TRK to now use, and they gave management salary increase incentives to grow the business even further. Now that the dilution concern is out of the way, we can focus on the fundamentals of the company, and they're amazing. They're great fundamentals. Their most recent acquisition was Converge. Converge did 294 million revenue in 2021. So if you're wondering why these big revenue increases have been coming to the company lately, it's because they just recently acquired Converge. Here are a list of Converge partners, ADT, AT&T, Chewy, DirecTV, Petco, SoFi, Wayfair, Bing, you know, Twitter ads, Yahoo, you know, Twitter analytics, YouTube, big name partners. Now that this blue torch deal is coming together heavily in favor of these shareholders, it seems right now, 
The next catalyst is their earnings report. Last quarter, they reported 120 million revenue. There is no set date for when this will be posted, their next report, but it should be any day. You'll see a bunch of speculation on when the date will be. There's no set date just yet, but it's going to come. Just be patient, in my opinion. And I think that they could beat revenue again. Now, I could be wrong, but it's either way, they're probably going to report over 100 million revenue for their next quarter. TRK has started to trend on stock Twitch for the first time in a while. I have not seen it trending on stock puts all this week. Now it's getting a lot more eyes. There's not a lot of eyes on the stock yet, but now there are. There's getting to be a lot of eyes. And I wanted to make this video on just TRKA. If you want updates on the other companies we've been talking about on the channel, drop a like. If you drop a like, it recommends you these videos on your homepage in the future. And if you want to absolutely get these videos for sure, turn on the notification bell for the next video. They're time sensitive, so I highly suggest doing that. And don't forget to get your 15 free stocks with my Moomoo link at the top and comment. You can get a stock worth $2,600 free money. Even if you have a broker right now, just go ahead and sign up and join the private discord with the link in the top and comment for the next big stock pick. That's it for me. Peace.